So perhaps you're really an accomplished speaker and you talk a lot at events and you give a lot of speeches and you really know that you should care about your audience. So you want to give them a great experience and you have to make sure that when you're presenting online that you give your virtual audience an even better experience than you would do in person. And that's because obviously their attention span can can be distracted a lot a lot more easily. So what you have to do is, as you know, be really rehearsed, but as well as that, be really engaging and varied. You need to be delivering really simple, really quick, varied content. And that's sort of to whet our appetite, to excite us, to intrigue us. You want actually people to be left wanting more at the end of a conversation with you or the end of a presentation with you. Um, because you know, you're going to be giving shorter ones, hopefully, as you're online and people's attention spans are not as good. So therefore, you're going to speak to them for less time. But what you want to do is make sure that in that time, you've done the groundwork. So they want to hear you again, they want to hear more about you, they want to know more about you. And then they're going to go off after they've heard about you and do what it is you would want them to do, which is to follow your lead to to read your work to watch your videos to refer you and to work with you. So one of the ways that we do that bizarrely, is to add pauses to what we're saying. A pause helps us to make a point, it helps us to prepare to take a a breather if necessary, also prepare to take the opportunity to make another point, all these kind of things. It's the way that you can find a moment to stop and to smile. It's also really useful to add drama. So what do I mean by that? I mean this. It's all that kind of thing. It also helps you take a pause and think, where the hell am I? I've got completely lost. Okay, stop rambling and move on with what you should be saying next. So really use the pause. It's incredibly effective. And also change up your voice. That's another really good way to do these sort of things is to modulate it a little bit more. Change up the speech with a little bit more pace, a little bit more tone to what you're saying. Um, Speed up the sentence because I find when you really speak fast, it can sometimes prove that you want to make a really big point. And then you slow down if you're trying to really explain something in a different way. All these little things add variety. If you think, oh, I'll never remember all that, just add them to your notes, to, to, to your script if you have one. You know, little star signs saying, right, smile here, pause here, all those kind of things. I, I think we forget that that's part of the presentation. It's part of the performance that we're putting on. So just like if you're on stage and you had a director, they would be giving you script notes. They would be giving you things to add to your to your notes to make sure that you change up for your performance. So just do that too. Any way you think that this would be effective for you to have a pause or a smile or a nod or an aside, put that into your notes and rehearse it.